Hi, I'm Debbie. I'm Maggie. I'm Stephen. And you're watching Word, Word of, of Mouth. Mouth. I made a statement earlier about dividing the estate. And that's just because you've been drinking, Lewis. You always talk that way when you're drinking. Well, Mama, I'm sick and tired of having to go to my nephew for the least thing. Son, I need ten dollars or fifteen or twenty. Why? Well, because I spend my allowance too soon this month. Why? Because it's none of your goddamn business. Shut up! It's no, why? No, no, well, my no, no, time, no, I shut up! You aren't gonna talk that way. Tonight we saw Horton Foots dividing the estate. It's set in Texas in the '80s, um, and it's a Southern family who live in this huge estate, and they have um, a family who works for them, and they've all sort of reunited. In the family, there is constant grumbling amongst certain members of the family and generations about dividing the estate and getting their fair share and moving on. But they're totally controlled by this matriarch who uh, allots an allowance and how much they can have and how they live. Stella was a matriarch of the house and she sort of runs the house and she loves the house and she loves the family. She is uh, not for dividing the estate. She wants to keep it uh, together and she also wants to keep the family together. There are three children in the family. There is the son who is uh, either divorced or a widow and he's never remarried and he has an alcohol problem, serious alcohol problem. And he wants to divide the state when he's drunk but when he's not drunk he's quite happy with the way the things are going, the way the, he's not looking for change. The daughter Mary Jo who is the one who has been living in Houston comes back and she wants to divide the estate. She wants it now because as the play unfolds, you realize that they've been living far beyond their means, she and her husband, Bob. And then the oldest daughter, whose son runs the estate, sees this as her legacy. She's, she's going to continue it. She's the only one who has no interest in dividing the estate, it seems. The characters were wonderfully real to me. I have actually met a lot of these people. I'm sure it feels like someone's real life, but it didn't feel like my real life. I connected most strangely with sort of like the servant family who was serving them, who seemed to have a more, um, a greater understanding of what was happening and they seemed also grateful and happy. I thought the characters were interesting. I thought they were real. There, there's humor, there's, uh, you feel their disappointment, you feel, you know, you just laugh with them or laugh at them actually sometimes. Um, I was never bored. I, I was definitely caught up in their family drama. Hallie Foote I thought was funny as Mary Jo, even though I didn't like the character. I thought she, you know, got laughs and she was funny. There's just something about her little like facial reactions that sort of, I mean, they make me laugh. She is just funny. I mean, her walk is funny. The way she holds her body is funny. She doesn't have to open her mouth. Her expressions are funny. And she repeats herself a lot, especially at the end, which is very funny. So she was tremendously entertaining to watch. I thought Elizabeth Ashley was quite wonderful. I've never seen her in person. I have seen her on the screen and on television. And I thought she captured this elderly lady very, very well. She was also great. I felt she was warm and endearing. Um, I cared for her. She was the only one who I really actually, you know, gave a damn about. Gerald McCraney, who I know from television from 100 years ago, plays the son. And I thought he did a wonderful job with his character. It's very nice uh, to see him in a more mature part, and I thought he played it in a nice understated way. He was not overblown. He did it very, very well. I really enjoyed each of the characters. There wasn't a weak spot on the stage. Everyone has their moment and uh, and they do their moments well. They do. It's, it's a very nice production, I think. I'm indifferent to it. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I didn't hate it and I didn't love it. Um, it was like, it was okay. Thoroughly enjoyable. Thoroughly enjoyable. This show is captivating. The plot was interesting and moving and it kept your interest. It kept your interest. So I was never bored and, and the staging was great too. So they really kept you busy. But the more dialogue, the longer the story went on, you felt where it was going. So you, there weren't as many surprises as you thought there would be. I think it was almost a little too obvious is what I think was the problem for me. It wasn't that, you know, that someone was money hungry or that families are dysfunctional. This one just seemed, it was so obvious that, you know, Mary Jo is constantly asking for money. Every five seconds it's like this money joke. It kind of gets old. It's like one note. It's like, where do we go from there? I like the humanity of it. I thought the characters were beautifully done. I thought they were very nicely performed. 
uh, lovingly written, lovingly written, beautifully directed. The production is very elegant. A lot of times when I go to theater, the story will stay with me. And I'll rethink it, and it, it just, not haunts me, but it just really moves me enough that it stays with me for a while. This was an entertaining evening that when it was over, it was over, and it's not going any further as far as for me, personally. I didn't think it was bad, but I wouldn't recommend it. You know, I think if you were going to go see Dysfunctional Family Play, you would go to August Osage County or something a little more modern. To me, this was a little dated and a little obvious. It really hurts me to say this, but of all the shows I've seen, I would not tell them to rush and see this one. It was just not important enough that I would feel comfortable saying it's something you have to see. I will tell people to see it. It's so skillfully written that you sense all the history and the jealousies and all the stuff that goes on in families where they truly love each other despite having to live with one another. I thought it was, I really think Mr. Foote did a great job. They tried to drill for oil on our land. <laughs> oh, he went out there. He took his shotgun and he said, you get off this land of mine or I will blow your brains out. Mama, that's not true. <laughs> you used to say you prayed every night we'd get an oil lease. <laughs>